Good morning, everybody. This is Kevin at Stone Cabin Adventures. Um, it's about 20 degrees here, cold. We're gonna be adding some heat. Oh, I'm seeing flurries, really light. Adding some heat to our chicken coop today. And we're gonna have to use the extension cord I have strung from the bucket there and I have it coming across up because that's the only outside plug-in that I have other than the well house the little white building over there oh who opened up the well house I'll have to get that closed we've got a heater in there too so um, we're gonna be doing that didn't want to really run, drive over my extension cord, so we're using these plant hangers on our clothesline. And we've got a bucket covering the connection right now for our water heater. We're hoping to get that, if that's long enough, we're going to be put, able to put the extension cord all the way into the chicken coop. And still put a little cover over it for water protection we still have a few leaks on our chicken coop it's coming in someplace on some of the screws i think i'm probably gonna have to next time we have to get up on the uh roof there and caulk the screws back the screws out caulk them and then put them back down or just caulk over the top of them so Another problem I've got was whenever I was given this GoPro Hero Black 8 for my birthday last year, I was given an accessory kit that goes with it. And one of them is this tripod. Well, on the tripod, the tip of it is stripped out. So we're going to go into the my shop, my shed here, use the bandsaw to cut the tip of it off, and I'm going to take this tightener this nut I'm gonna take it off and cut about a quarter inch off of this with the bandsaw and then put my GoPro back on this where the screw the threads under the nut are still good so once you come with me I've got <clears throat> excuse me I've got my greenhouse over here not quite finished it's on a little bit of a slope so I didn't get my doorways totally squared I might try to fix that just a little bit just the bottom of those that door frame over just the top over just a little bit and I've got my door frame ready to put together and put in there so hopefully this week we get some kind of nice weather we can get that finished or next week I've got to get some plants going and then we're going to put our garden space over here where my buckets are at. Lay out some, uh, what is that, the poly ground cover. Lay that out. I'm going to rework my buckets. I've got that six inch French drain that I got from uh, Jaeger's Hardware in Greenwood, Arkansas. So if you're looking for six inch, you might be able to find go to an ace or true value and ask them to order some in that was right at about a hundred dollars 180 somewhere in there i can't remember exactly oh, it was a hundred foot it was about 180 dollars so i'll be able to put probably most of these buckets will get i should be able to get them all i've got about 35 buckets I'm going to take, totally take and rework, and I'm going to pull the dirt out. I'm going to filter it, get a lot of the grass and the other plants out of them. Probably the only one I won't work on is that sage right there. Um, yeah, that tan beige bucket. It's my wife, so I might not touch that at all. Unless I'm able to pick up the the whole thing, the dirt and everything, and then change out uh, the buckets are the gallon jugs I've got underneath of it. If you ever, if you've never done wicking tubs, check out Gardening with Leon 
on YouTube. He's a 80 something year old man down in Kingston, Oklahoma that sells greenhouses. He's got a green, uh, he's got a nursery and he ha probably has 12 to 15 greenhouses where he grows in wicking tubs or other type of tubs. Very knowledgeable. So let's go into, oh, well, let's close this well house first. Our water is still running. So thank you, Jesus. You keep a lock on it because at one time last year, somebody, don't know who, had turned our water off, messed with it. And so we were four days without water trying to figure out what happened. And then a friend of ours came over and was playing around with it. And we got to figuring out that the prime was closed all the way down and the water was shut off. Well, hold on just a second. There we go. As you can see, my shop is pretty full and I've got more stuff inside the, sh the house that needs to be brought out. I've got a welding cart there. I've got this toolbox I got for $100 at a yard sale that I've got a lot of woodworking tools and files and other things in. And these shelving units I got from work whenever they uh, drew names for them. With my last job that is so hold on just a second let me see if i can get y'all set up but this is my grizzly bandsaw that i've got a little bench top yo 803 i like it. it comes with a light on it so and i've got my power strip here plugged into an extension cord that runs over to my well house. So I have one light in here and I'm planning on getting some more and redoing this. Hold on just a second. Let me see if I can. Get y'all set up. Yep, right there. Okay. So I'm gonna lower this down a little bit. Take my nut off of here so I don't mess with it. Probably not gonna use it again. But I've got a new tripod coming in. Ordered off of Amazon along with a uh, a frame. We've already got a mic. Use my nut to. Yep. Still good. Little quarter inch, three sixteenths piece of plastic. So let me grab this and put this back on. Oh, sorry, I pushed the wrong button. So we built this shed last year um, on this concrete pad here. It was 10 by the shed right now is 14. There's a little three by three or three by four piece of concrete in the back. And there's this little triangular entry here on the front. They used to raise dogs on this property. I still have dog houses back here behind the shed, but <clears throat> it's when I get a chance, this thing's going to go to my wife and we're going to build a shop. Right over there in the trees, we're going to clear most of those trees out. Where I hope to, hope to be able to leave this row of trees here 
or thin them out just a little bit about every other one but clear out all that proper uh, those trees and put a shop there we're going to increase the size of our chicken coop and we're going to close this little planting area and we're going to take all of that and it's going to go into the greenhouse under our tables once we get the benches in there and tables and then we're going to get a little carport let me i'm going to leave this open we're going to probably need to get back in here um we're going to put a carport over here uh 18 by 21 or so 18 by 20 and i'm going to put my tractor I'm going to put my mower and my riding mower and my push mower and some of my other gardening tools and all these hang up tools here. All those are going to go in there on that. So we're going to get started first by trying to stretch this extension cord over to where we're at. So I've got to pull the excess take it across the top of the house or carport and then work it over and see if I can get it into the green, uh, chicken coop. So hold on just a minute. Let me straighten you out here. I'm sitting you on top of my truck. There we go. Probably gonna have to get a screw and I'll have to go back to the shed and get my I think it's in the shed. My green, my warmer hood for my light. So. I got the wrong gloves though. Hang on. Camera's running. Where's the camera? On the truck. Oh. Okay, hold on. There you go. I think zip ties would work I'm better. doing the, yeah. And we haven't let our chickens out yet this morning, so. Oh. You want to grab yeah. the camera and do yeah. that? Yeah, you can't see us let our chickens out. Oh, hi, Kevin. Hi. So. So here's our chickens. Kevin made the most in the rock and let them out. Kevin made the most ingenious little, I don't know, redneck get out, whatever, uh, chicken door. A little piece of copper sheet that I got at an auction. He said, What are you gonna use that for? I'm said, We'll think of something. So I'm outside the chicken pen, and here's this rock on a rope, and I pull the rope, and the chicken door goes up. I let go of the rope and the chicken door goes down. Oh. Hi, handsome. Hi, Queenie. Hi, Ginger. Hi, Snow something. Oh, nope, that's Ginger. Hi, Ginger. Got five cinnamon queens. There's Turkey Lurkey. We don't know yet if it's a boy or a girl. We call it a girl uh, most of the time. Yeah, it was born in May. This is now February. I would think it would look more masculine if it was a boy. Um. Oh, and here comes our crippled chicken trying to get out with everybody else. Uh, I found her on the on the bottom bunk with one leg sticking down between the bars. Oh, that was funny. She. I wish. You, I wish I had videoed her. Getting her legs she. Back. She's getting her legs back under her. Uh, it's been what a week and a half. Anyway, she uh, she was in pretty bad shape. Uh, couldn't move herself. 
One leg was sticking out the side. The other leg was sticking down through. Her head was dangling. When I saw her, I thought she was dead. So I went in and picked her up. And oh, son of a gun. She, her wings worked just I'm fine. Go and okay. The cord. Oh, and what we're doing? Did you already tell them what we're doing today? Today we are. Uh, it's cold here. I mean, it really is. All the trees have a little coat of ice on them. Uh, but um, it's probably, oh, I don't know, what, 19, 25 degrees, somewhere in there? Hmm? How cold is it out right now? I don't know. In our nearest town? Yeah. It's, uh, let's see. Today's Saturday. I don't know when y'all are watching. 23. So, yeah, okay, between 19 and 25 pounds. I did pounds. Degrees. <laughs> Duh. Duh, hut. Um, I don't know if y'all can see, but it is beginning to snow a little. It's getting flurries. Um, uh, a very, I would call it, if it was rain, I'd call it a light sprinkle. Not enough to bother going in the house. For... Fine ground salt. Yeah, fine fine ground salt. It's, it's tiny. Grain. Tiny, tiny. Um, so what we're doing, because it's supposed to get down to like, Minus seven. Oh, there's our recycle. I don't know if you've seen it. Um, other metal, aluminum, glass. Uh, one of them just has plain old trash in it. Um, but this is when I'm out working in the yard and I see something that needs recycled, I bring it over here instead of putting it in the trash. Um, this is, I think, a baseball Oh, it just kind of disappeared. This is like a baseball rack or uh, hockey sticks or something. Um, anyway, um, what we're going to do is put some of those pavers down under it and then set it uh, probably a couple of feet off the ground. But put our garden tools in it. It's got these little screw divots here here and then more on the bottom and we're going to screw it to the wall probably not here because of the overhang um, overhang there we go see this is a overhang here so um we're going to hang this up somewhere not here and put our shovels and rakes and hose and stuff for the yard work in it um, right now, for our chickens, they have a, they have a, a water or warmer, there. bought it on Amazon, um, but it's supposed to get down to one, or minus seven, or, I don't know, I've read so many things, um, my daughter Amanda, Monday, the high's supposed to be five, the low's supposed to be 11 below, no, high's supposed to be three. Uh, my son works near Edmond. The high is supposed to be five in Edmond. Um, so our oldest, Amanda, in Mustang, the Girls. high is supposed to be three, and the low is supposed to be minus 11. Minus 11 Fahrenheit. <sighs> minus 11 Celsius is about what it is out here now. No, it's a little colder than that, but um, to change from Celsius to Fahrenheit and back again, it's either divide by nine and multiply by five or divide by five and multiply by nine, depending upon which direction you're going. Hi, Kevin. What else do you want these people to know? Get the, the heat lamp uh, bulb, bulb and the, the You want me to stop bulb. filming? Do you want me to go in the house and get the bulb? Sure. Okay, this is I a look. I know where the bowl is. The fixture i thought it's probably it, in the shed yeah i thought you said it was in the shed so let me take the camera i love you yeah you go look in your shed um on the other hand you may want to time out right here you may not want to show the people all the cool stuff you have in your shed i already have oh never mind then so <laughs> don't want them looking in our house yet because it's really not straightened out we're still yeah, oh, no, I haven't shown him that yet. I'm go I'll grab that and Yeah, so our pond is guarantee them that that part of the water is cold too. Just cuz it ain't frozen don't mean it's warm. You can't go swimming there. What? Here, talk. Hi YouTube. Hi, this is
this is our life. I don't have on my makeup. So, um, this is our pond. Beautiful. Um, partly froze over. Not thick enough to skate. Don't no, it's just a thin film it. right now. Yeah, thin film, less than an inch. Um, and that part over there that doesn't have ice on it. <laughs> I'm trying to. Yeah, the part over there that does not have ice on it. Uh, it's not because there's a warm spring and you can go enjoy yourself. No, it is still really cold. And I ain't even touched it to know. I don't have to touch it. I'm an old farm girl. I know these things. All right. Yeah, we don't have any warm spring coming into ours. It's all, it runs down from our neighbor's pond, which is on the hill right there. It comes over to the side and runs down through a little creek and then we have a little concrete bridge that the original owner put in here there's the fixture all right so several places i've worked was getting rid of stuff and so that's where i get a lot of my tools and I've got a bunch of tools that I got from a Ford remanufacturing place that I worked at where we did engines so I'm gonna set you up here and I'm gonna get this assembled that's just the cover on it but when she gets back with the bulb if she can reach it I'm gonna now it's supposed to get even colder here um, later this week overnight we were not here last year at this time, there was a couple snowstorms that happened after we bought it, but we were still living in Oklahoma, uh, living in Mustang, Oklahoma, excuse me. Why that's loose, I don't know. I think that needs to be. Oh. And they're supposed to ah. never used one of these heat lamps well we used it last year and everything was good now this thing seems to be loose so I think that's the problem is this thing has to be turned with the bulb in it and it tightens up I'm gonna have to go in there and see if she can reach those bulbs. Huh. Okay, what? I'm gonna let that be right there. And I will be right back with you folks. Okay, we are back. Lori's gonna put that. Hey y'all, um, old-fashioned incandescent lights, if you want them to last a while longer, um, you don't touch it with your skin. Uh, like when you were a kid, they say, don't put your hands on the hallway walls, you'll leave oil. And come May, if the custodians haven't been diligent, there will be a 
grayish streak down the walls where all those kids' hands have touched. Because you do get oil on stuff off your hands. So when you're using an old-fashioned incandescent light, you don't want to touch the bulb with your hands. They'll last longer. Not around me. I break too many light bulbs. But around everybody else. La la la. I know it's interesting. Okay. Oh, maybe I should take this in the house and warm the cord. It's cold. I'm probably making this look harder than it is. Okay. Okay. This. There might be an easier way to do this. I just know to do it one at a time. And I'm kind of a wuss. I'm going to ask the guys at work I'm a wuss. There. So we're going to hang it up with a nail and probably clamp it to a rafter as well. Not rafter will be too high. Probably clamp it to a roost so that the chickens will have a warm place when it's 11 degrees outside. <sighs> hey, I got it all put together. Great. It's funny that both our gloves are laying right here on the truck. I just yeah, I had to change bits. <laughs> change out, go get a new bit. Okay. So that I could do what I needed to. Oh. <laughs> hey, how about that, YouTube? We just knocked you down. So, I'm going to get my left glove on at least. <clears throat> so, we're going to go into the chicken There's that rooster saying coop. he got. There's that rooster. He's saying he's got nothing more important to do than make noise. Because we won't let him out for the moment. Hey, handsome. How you doing? He says, don't touch me. Don't touch me. I'm a chicken. I'm supposed to be a Here's brand. Dottie. Are you a chicken? And Turkey and the queenies. Uh -huh. It is kind of dark in here. We've already got one queenie on the nest. We have some chickens that will not lay until you go both feet under 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Hey, you got to come in here. Sure. I don't have a light, but I can come in there. I can make it darker Here. by standing in the doorway. You gotta hold. <laughs> I'm gonna put the heat lamp. Well, that's, you have that's to put. Middle. Yeah, you're gonna have to put it low so the chickens can get under it. So you can't. Well, no, I wouldn't get to put it low because they try try to climb on it. So if I put it about right here, they'll touch it once and they'll quit. Right, but I don't want it low because they they always roost at night. So if I put it like here in the middle and it'll give them heat while they're roosting oh, Kevin. so what i was going to do oh hang on <laughs> kevin mm. i think you need to have the no I'm don't sorry. do that <laughs> hey, let me see i think you need to have the light lower oh that's what you're it doing. is low uh, um I don't know if you can see this. He put it, he pinched it to the rafter, but he put, it, it's like, I'm 5'2", and the rafter's barely over my Let me head. See it. Um, and he put a screw here <laughs> so that if it comes unpinched, it's still hooked up. And that's smart. It keeps it up on top. Yeah. Yep, here you go. Hold that. Let me grab. Hi, YouTube. The, oh. It's, is... Yeah, I said, oh, that cord's cold. Maybe I should take it in the house a bit. <laughs> You might have to. Ah, it'll stretch. There you go. Cord. Oh, this is a two end. Going Let into a that. three end. You put the fat end on the left. Oh. And then we have a hook. Oh, that's good. Because we can I don't think keep that was the. Um, ah. All right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's. Uh, 
I still think it needs to be about this high. Well, right now it's not going to because of the... Here, hold this. Okay. Oh, hi. Um, I don't know if y'all can see. Oh yeah, here, here's a knot hole. You see that blue there through that knot hole? And then there's blue through the cracks. This is the north wall. I know it's really boring. This is the north wall. And uh, we've got a blue tarp, like a little five by seven, 99 cents from Harbor Freight. A little blue tarp up on that north wall to block the north wind. And it does seem to help. Yes, we know we need to clean out our chicken house. It is full of chicken poop. And we have a shovel and we have a wheelbarrow. And we have a shovel and we have a wheelbarrow and we have an interrupting rooster. Um, Sweetie, if you're mean enough, it'll work. True story. Um, well, chicken poo. and But you can't put chicken poo straight on the garden. So we're going to have to put the chicken poo. Uh, rooster poo. No, rabbit poo. Rabbit poo you can put straight on a garden. And chicken llama. poo. No, not llama, but alpaca. Oh, and alpaca poo you can put straight on a garden. Chicken poo has too much nitrogen in it. It's And they call it being too hot. Alpaca? And it will... Alpaca. It will, uh, donkey poodles like Arms Family Homestead. Uh, you put the higher nitrogen on the garden and it will burn it up. So you can kill your garden with too much fertilizer. And as you can see, we have pines. We have pine trees. We have tall loblolly pines. Uh, long leaf three needle. That's a, <laughs> well, that's a two. <laughs> three needles. Three needles together. Let's see. Let me see. Uh, three, three needles. Um, my my finger spread is about eight and a half inches, so it's, it's about a seven inch. Yeah, this is the, this, Yeah, because it's past my pinky. So, not maybe seven inches long. Um, this is an awesome kind of needle if you are weaving like um, Native American, I think it's the Cherokee baskets that are so popular, so wonderful. Um, and these will make, these these are great for that because they're longer and easier to work with. Um, we used to live across the alley from Betty and Betty's, I think her grandson married a Native American who made phenomenal baskets. So, so here are my gorgeous pine trees. And they are really, 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 really tall. <laughs> really, really tall. And there's our old lawnmower. It mowed really, really well. Uh, I push mowed the yard the first couple of times. And when I push mowed, it took like four hours one day and two hours the next. And then when we got this old mower, it took about two hours to do the thing. Then we got uh, a Husqvarna 24 horse, 54 inch cut. And I'm just fly over the yard. Um, we're getting ready to buy some property. Um, I don't know if you can see it or not. I don't know what the camera shows. I know I can see it just fine, but I don't know. Look, there's coyote poop in my yard. I'm not going to show you coyote poop. It looks like a little torpedo. Okay, we are not buying that pond. So our property line goes from that little orange steak about halfway between those oh, last two pines it. yes it was over here yes it was over here because we told them 2.17 acres 2.17 acres and they marked it at two and so they came back and fixed it um so we need to move our t-post down there yeah we've got a t-post down by the road that you can't see anyway all of this i call it grassland because most of the rest of our land is covered in trees and briars um like oaks and hickories. This right here is a hickory. Uh, so we're gonna 
fence this in. And if you're not careful when you walk, you will roll your ankle on a hickory nut. That's a hickory tree. Fence it in, have um, some when we got here, all, all the way up past this hickory, um, this whole big area was covered in privet, uh, Chinese privet. Around that. Uh, all around that cedar tree. Couldn't hardly get to it. Yeah. Um, and there's another mess of it right there. And so when we, after we buy the land, because if we don't get it bought, I'm not taking it out. I'm not doing work on somebody else's property without their permission for sure. Um, but we're going to take those out. Um, we're going to leave most of the rest of the trees, just take out a lot of the debris. Um, and the way we may do that is by just putting putting goats on it and letting them do the 99% of the work for us. Um, we have to put up a fence. And so that's the part of the work that the goats can't do. But Part of our land is on the other side of the driveway. Uh, yeah, and the other side... It's about the, 30 foot let's walk. Swath. Let's walk. So we had to take out one big pine tree so that we could get internet service. Um, the guy told us... Um, he said, you've got a linebacker who can carry a 500 pound load and run for touchdowns, but it takes him three minutes to get there and that's not the kind of internet you want. So uh, we took out one big pine tree, about what, 24 inches in diameter at the bottom? 20, 24. Yeah, 20, 20, it depends on whether you measure. It's not perfectly round, um, but that big pine tree, I guess we can walk over there and show you. Uh, Here's the pond from a different, little different angle. Here's the old driveway. Uh, that's still the best driveway in the ice because you can't get up the dirt one. Anyway, um, there's there's the big pine tree. Where is the big pine tree? In this hole. Uh, there, there's that big pine tree um, on the ground. Anyway, all of this is our property. You're, you're shaking the camera around. Sorry. Sorry, I'm not good at YouTube yet. Like you're pointing with the camera at the same time and moving really fast. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Okay, so here's this big pine. You can stay there and just let come here. So I wear size, these are size nine boots. Oh, that's icy. These are size nine boots. So you can kind of tell how, how big that tree stump is. Uh, and it's wider this way. Yeah, it's wider it that way this than this way. way. Um, but. And here's the little trail where the runoff goes. And then it splits into three. Yeah, if you check out our earlier videos. There's some beautiful footage of the overflow the from the pond. flowing and going down there and splitting at that center tree. Yeah. It goes both so directions. There's a so dead tree we need to take out. But anyway, we took out this big this one big pine tree and i asked the guy so how fast is the running back making it with his 500 pound load down to the end zone now and he says end zone to end zone he can do that in about 0.3 seconds and i'm like okay that's a whole lot faster than three and a half minutes to do it before just from taking out one huge pine and so you see we're gonna got... sorry we're gonna cut it up in eight foot lengths and call it to a friend of ours and have him mill it and have him turn this beautiful chunk of downed nature into uh pine wood and then we can plane it and join it and make some which is something we're planning awesome on cabinets. wanting to do is buy a mill and start a sawmill of our, our own, own yeah our own logs saw on our own and saw for friends and that kind of thing because we've got lots but, of friends who are like oh i want to I want, a, I want a sawmill, but they're $3,000 or more from Harbor Freight. And and they are. About $2,500. Well, yeah, you can get one sale, $2,500. Get no, a coupon. <laughs> you get a coupon, 20% off delivery. anything. Yeah, delivery's going to bite you in the butt. But um, that's not something I want to throw in the back of my little Dodge Dakota. No. <laughs> no. Uh, no. So, anyway. Um, we may have to put up goat fencing over here too to get them to take out the briars. Some places the briars are so thick, you know, the only way to get through them is with like a hatchet or a machete or uh, nipper clippers, like garden clippers. Sawzall nipper clippers, yeah, lobber, uh, loppers. 
They're, they're awful. You can see awful. it's pretty heavy right there. A lot of briars. And there's lots of places where it's that thick. It just, so, but it's neglected land. It has all. been. It has been. Nobody's really cared about it, so. anything but the house in the yard for 12 years. Let's take a look at the so. pond. Oh, that's okay. Now this is where our water runs from right along here. And yeah. then our little overflow is Still right base. there. Yep. Where the And there's the wire wood is. there's wire mesh on that so that um, the minnows and the little feeder fish can get out, unfortunately. But some of them still do. And, but the big fish don't. And we're going to try and like clear that. all this, We've this brush this out right here, these little, little nuisance trees. Uh, Kevin, when I'm talking about Sorry. the pond and you walk off and start talking to YouTube, it was like, was I saying nothing? Was yeah, I saying I, nothing? I have the camera <laughs> power. You have the, you have the wand of power. Yes. So. Um. We need to, all, all the fish we've caught out of there have been like two pounds and less. So we stocked it last year with a couple of hundred dollars worth of fish, not very much at all. So we need to stock more. We need to stock more. Um, black bass, I don't know, black bass, white crappie, black crappie. Uh, carp, grass carp. Grass carp, carp. Israeli grass carp. Oh, and look, I have a jonquil blooming. Uh, Narcissus, daffodil, jonquil, different names, same plant. Already have flowers coming up. Already have. Row. It is February 13th, Valentine's Day Eve. They're covered in buds. And that little flower is frozen. Um, when I lived in Edmond, I had some King Alfred daffodils, and they bloomed so pretty. And then we got an ice storm, and I went out and looked at them, and they just looked like spinach on the ground yellow spinach green spinach just on the ground ugly but when it thawed out they perked back up again i was i didn't know flowers would do that anyway we've got a and this is our crepe myrtle that we trimmed <laughs> yes, we, we have three crepe and if myrtle they're not prettier, multiple if they're not prettier this year than they were last year we may get the tractor and just pull them out get rid of them so but we're going to give them a chance to be pretty. Maybe this year, maybe next year. I don't know. I don't know what part grows the flowers. If the part that grew last year grows the flowers this year, then it won't be fair to the trees to cut them out. Oh, he's going to see. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There. He's going to, he's going to see how thick the ice is. Oh. It's about an eighth inch. Yeah, it's real thin. Oh, and now we have a bubble. Bubbles are yeah, fun. It's about an eighth inch thick, maybe. Yeah, it's it, it's thin. Yeah, it's not so, real thick. No, but that's okay. So, thank you for joining us on our little adventure. What? On our little adventure. Uh, on yeah, our, little our little stone adventure. cabin adventure. Oh, and coming up, we're going to be unboxing our chipper shredder we got from Harbor Freight. Oh yes. And. Show them the pile, and we have a pile. <laughs> we have a monster pile of limbs. We used to call it the burn pile, them. but um. And then we're gonna, we're gonna chip and shred it, and then once we get the chipper shredder, then we're gonna take and shred string. them again through the top. We're gonna feed them through oh, the limb. Feed them through the bottom to chop up the limbs, the and limbs. then. And I also want to put all the um, compost through it, so that. Um, it grinds it up. Yes. Well, yeah. So, so that the compost isn't just a mess. But anyway, we've got this. I think that limb. It's a pretty good size is, batch of. Yeah. Some of this is oak like that. And we're so, gonna some of it's oak. We're going to try to chop, firewood. chop that up for firewood. Yep. Save it. Oh, and look, here's the, here's a little concrete bench. Here's a little concrete bench. Here's a beautiful little bridge. Here's, uh, I still walk on it because I can swim well. Um, I'm fat, I float. Uh, fat floats on top of water. We're gonna try and clear um, there's a, all this. This is also part of the pond. And this is also Chinese privet and wisteria. The, oh my goodness, when we're outside in the spring, of course we've only been here one spring, but um, it, it just absolutely smells like. Okay folks, our battery died and had to go get a new battery. I had just checked it, it said 15.
15 and then it said just kidding <laughs> not 15 oops so, sorry about dropped you okay so a pile of wood that we're gonna run through the chipper shredder and then run it through again yeah run it run it through the we'll chipper chipper side and then run it through the shredder size okay here's pond uh little oh hi kevin uh little concrete bench another little concrete bench um cool old times. cool old bridge um and the pond actually does go under the bridge so it almost looks like two little ponds in our chinese river oh. we're trying to get rid of from the uh twisty oh wisteria yeah the wisteria twists itself around other limbs you see it around the tree there oh yeah look it's bad. It's, that poor tree is just about choked to death we need <laughs> which we that hadn't noticed okay. until now so we're going to try a little bit of time clear it out i don't know if they can see through all this mess oh sorry youtube i'm about to drop you there we go uh, uh, and i don't know there's part of that wisteria that's like three inch four inches in diameter trying to get for the deer yeah he needs to get corn for the deer anyway some of that wisteria is just awful all of it's awful if it is all in an oh, look on my head um oh. it's an invasive species uh it's a horrible thing smells great um smells awesome so welcome to our little life with kevin is an adventure stone cabin adventures it's still spitting snow um this little green tufts of grass that you see uh, is tastes like wild onions tastes like onions it's a form of wild onions i was going to take you over here and show you the other bridge need to get it cleared off are you still filming yes so here's the other end of the pond there's that bridge I showed you the end of while ago. Really pretty. Really pretty. Really, really pretty. Um, prettier than it is sturdy. And then over here, there's another little concrete bridge. I don't know why it's here. I have not seen water under it yet. But it's kind of a cool thing. There's colorful rattlesnakes or copperheads to live in, whatever. But I think I, when I get all the debris cleared around from here, I'm going to need a little garden gnome about a foot tall to sit there and guard, like maybe a troll. Maybe I should get an ugly troll to hide down by the bottom of the bridge. Anyway, I want a garden gnome and I want a troll eventually. I'll have to find them or make them. Oh, here's what's serious. See? It even chokes itself. So. So. So it's got to go. And I know I can't kill it all, but I can get rid of it for a while. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing it with your friends. Like. Like and click that notification bell so that you won't miss us. And tonight we'll be filming another Pinky episode six of Pinky Calhoun. Uh, stuff in my pocket. Um, episode six when Pinky confronts her dad about Letha's little redheaded baby. So. Um, kind of interesting coming up thank you for watching god bless you we love you all go to church on sunday bye